Former Vanderbilt standout quarterback Allen Walters entered the transfer portal during the offseason when the Commodores recruited an anointed true freshman quarterback, Kelvin Franklin Jr., to be the new signal caller in Nashville. Walters left in the middle of the night, didn't say goodbye, didn't leave a note or a text. Teammates found his empty room the following morning and informed coach Jay Cutler. Now the quarterback has chosen to break his silence via a letter submitted to us here on ESPN. Jay Cutler made it abundantly clear from day one that Riley Neal and I were not his guys. With every mistake, we were constantly looking over our shoulders, wondering if this was the one that would get us yanked from the game. No matter how well the two of us performed, it was clear that he couldn't wait until I, quote, got a chance to get one of his guys under center. But hey, I figured, if he refuses to acknowledge me or respect me, I had to let my play talk for itself. So last season, I finished third in the Heisman. I was an O'Brien finalist and the Maxwell Trophy winner. I even broke half of the school passing record still. That wasn't enough. But in life, we had to live and learn from mistakes and consequences, good or bad. Today, I won't make the same mistake twice. This time... I'll be headed to a program that wants me to be their quarterback, a team that is actually in the hunt for a national title, a team that doesn't blow fourth quarter leads, and that team is no other than the best college football team in Tennessee. Hashtag Go Vols. boys so we all just heard the shocking news of alan walters picking his new school he is going to the arch rival the tennessee vols and if you come over here you know what i'm saying to to the top 25 tennessee is now number four in the nation they actually got a vote to be the number one seed in the nation they, they're taking on number seven oklahoma here in the in this week so, you know, not sure if they're going to win this game or not, but they do have a potential to, you know, make a deep, deep playoff push slash national championship push. Here we are at number 16. We lost them last year, gave up a crazy lead in the fourth quarter. You know, remember, shot was thrown in that letter that Alan Walters, that Alan Walters written. He said that, you know, we don't give up big leads in the fourth quarter. And that's duly noted, man. You know, he turned his back on a lot of his teammates, not because he transferred, but the way he left like a coward and the way he threw shots at his squad. So they, <laughs> this defense can't wait to get their hands on Alan Walters for a couple, for three years. He was here at Vanderbilt. They weren't allowed to hit him in practice, but now for the first time, they'll all be able to put hands on him when we play uh, Tennessee later on this season. So here's a look at Alan Walters in his red, his red shirt junior season, 97 overall, 85 speed, 94 excel. You know, he's got some decent running stats, 90 throw power to 90 throw accuracy. But for us, we cannot look past Boston College. They were ranked when we put them on a schedule, but they did lose their first game of the season. They're on one. Kirk's rolling with us. We're B plus, B, A minus, slightly better on paper. They're B, B plus, B minus. Um, come over here. We don't have any, 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 any um, notables yet. But uh, their quarterback, one touchdown, three picks in their first game. Their, their running back ran for 131 yards in a touchdown. Uh, their leading tackle only had four tackles, no picks, one sack. Their uh, leading receiver, six catches for 62 yards. Nothing to write home about whatsoever. So also, guys, we got some notable new players on the squad. Our starting quarterback, Kelvin Franklin Jr., true freshman, 6'4", 225, the number one quarterback, QB1. He's got some fellow freshmen with him, Owen Jones and John Johnson, who will be redshirted. Sadly, these guys might not ever see the field, you know what I mean, But uh, unless Kelvin gets injured, you know what I mean? So maybe in the future they'll end up, you know, um, transferring or so, or maybe they'll just, they're just coming here to get their education and move on to whatever the next phase of their life is. But um, unless Kelvin Franklin just completely screws up, I don't see him not being a starter here while 
he's in Nashville. We also got true freshman Josh Clark running back. He will be getting some playing time behind Dante Smith. We also welcome Nick Branch to the squad. And I'm just noticing that I forgot to replace Marcus Smith with somebody. So I will do that. Um, you know, next episode, I'll go back to the recruiting episode and pick the new and pick the random comment to be Marcus Smith. So my apologies there. Um, Cole, Toop, Cole Toopin, Tuppin, I'm not sure you say it, Toopin, uh, true freshman tight end. He's also being redshirted currently. We also welcome left outside linebacker Vincent Elisar to the squad. Um, we welcome Traymon Addison, freshman middle linebacker who's redshirted this year. We also brought in Cody Bolin and Gary Abernathy, two new right outside linebackers. In the defensive backfield, we got Jason Harris, Aiden King. In the, in the defensive backfield, we also welcome eight. In the defensive backfield, we welcome true freshman Jason Harris. At free safety, true freshman Sean Taylor Jr., who's actually going to be starting day one on the squad. And then also Silas Stowell. You know, those are the freshmen that we got. Those are the new freshmen that we welcome to the team. So, you know, congratulations to everybody who made it on the squad. Um, don't be discouraged if you didn't. Every single offseason, we'll be adding new. Every single offseason, we'll be adding more and more, you know what I'm saying, uh, subscriber recruits. So you guys will always get a chance in all the series to join the squad. Now that we got all of that out of the way, you see here, let's get rolling. Vanderbilt players can't wait for this season opener against Boston College. Today, we will find out if we made the right decision moving on from Allen Walters or not. I'm confident that Coach Jay Cutler made the right decision, but there's nothing else more for us to say. We got to see it translate on the field. See you guys out there. So the best players on their squad is Jay Peterson, their quarterback, A. Lipstrom, uh, their center, and D. Bailey, their halfback. So it's raining here in Boston, Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? We're used to playing in the rain. We don't care about the elements. We just care about coming out here and getting victories. So we have reigning returner of the year, Cam Johnson, back here to return this kick. Let's see what he can bring, baby. <laughs> Whoop! Ah! You see here, impact player Cam Johnson. I expect him to be in the Belitnikoff discussion this year. All right, boys. So the true freshman is rattled coming out here just to start off the game. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that's a very, very horrible throw, his first throw of the game. Franklin Jr. has great arm strength, but he is still lacking a little bit in the uh, accuracy uh, category. Oh, and our offensive line is lacking as we get sacked there easily for a loss of five. Franklin Jr. trying to get used to this uh, this high Division One caliber speed of the game. He's got to be able to make that throw, and he overshoots his tight end, Henry. Man, oh man, that throw has got to be made. So we go 0 for 3 in the first series of Franklin Jr.'s career here at Vanderbilt. Not worried. Not worried at all. I mean, Alan Walters has series like that as well. Peterson keeps it. Oh my goodness, he stays up. And we finally bring him down after 4. Lock up. Nobody's out there. Completely beat the zone with that pass. We're all over it. He's out of bounds. Make that hit. Woo! Let's go, Dimitri. So it looks like man coverage is going to be our strong suit as a team. That is okay with me. It's a run. Quarterback keeps it. Get over and make that tackle. Colin Anderson coming up with a big stop. All right, so here we go. Third and six. We'll go with a little bit of a man with a spy. And we're all over it. Make that tackle. The most we're going to give up there is three. I'm all for it. Kick is up, man. It is shallow. Wow. Okay. Good stop, defense. Alabama narrowly escapes an upset bid against Cincinnati. All right, boys, here we go. Try to get back here with the run game. Good move from Kelvin Franklin Jr., and I will take the seven yards. So we do still have that dual threat capability. Oh, wide open. Almost missed him. Hold on to a CJ. Oh, he broke a tackle. He's ready to get up out of there. All right, we go first and 10. Fresh set of downs. Got to be able to make that throw, baby. There we go, kid. Okay, he's so got them first game jitters out the way. Now he's out here throwing dots. That was a little bit of a duck, but it's wet out here. All right, first and 10, trying to go back to the ground. Want to be more of a balanced attack this year with a true freshman. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Simpson St. Brown wouldn't even have made it to that level. He wouldn't even elude it the first dive at his feet. So I like that. That's something I, I think I'm going to attack heavily in offseason here. I mean, in, in, in recruiting here because it's getting bad, man. This line is just not good. We got our tight end open off, off the gate. Hudson Henry, we expected big things from him when he when he came back from his year that he had to sit out from being transferred, and he replaces Chris Pierce beautifully. 
because you got to be able to make those tough catches. Still a little bit rattled, but for the most part, we're moving the ball with ease. Boom. Oh, look at Kevin Franklin. What a run. Ooh, ref. I think he might have scored there, but let's go. Let's go. All right, boys. So we're right here knocking on the doorstep. Got to be able to punch it in. And we are easy, untouched touchdown. And we are on the board first here in season number three. All right, boys. Let's go. It's a run all over it, fellas. That's what I love to see. All right, so we're going to control Sean Taylor Jr. here and see what we can do. It's definitely a pass. Ah, they don't want to come his way, but that's nothing hurt there with that pass. All right, third and nine, we're going to go to our man coverage. That seems to be our strong suit here today, at least against Boston College. Woo, we get it. We, he overshoots the, uh, his receiver. Let's go. Oh, we got Dante Smith back here instead of Cam, Cam Johnson. Oh, but he's looking just as just as electrifying. Oh, he stays up. Come on, burn him. Ah! <laughs> Man, if we could have switched fields all the way, I would have went nuts. All right, we go second. I mean, first and ten. Excuse me. One on one, make a play, Cam. Make a ooh. Okay, you high pointed it. That's all I can ask for there. Cut it up. Cut it up. Cut it up. There we go. Hold on to a Samson. There we go. Samson St. Brown's first catch as a receiver this year. Okay, I will take it. Ah, CJ. No need to toe tap, kid. We already have six first downs here in the first quarter to Boston College's one. Boom, get in the end zone. Ah, ah, ah. All right, let's see if we can punch in and start off the second quarter. Come on, Smith. Give me that. Hey, let's go. We got another... We got another uh, end zone seeking back in Dante Smith. We got a 14 point lead here, up 14 nothing. It's a run, get there, Sean. Oh no, we run into a teammate, but he's got the catch up speed to make a tackle and save a touchdown. Oh wow, how does he get so wide open? Come on Harris, make the touchdown, way to force him out. Let's force a turnover here. We're in the backfield, we don't make a tackle though. Nope. Sean Taylor, oh, he just pushes him. Another third down and 10. We lost. We missed out on the touchdown already. Ah, I knew he was going to do that. Kind of forced that pass a little bit. All right, so Kelvin Franklin throws his first pick, the first pick of his career. All good. It's all good. Nothing hurt. Man in motion. It's an option. Ah, I wanted to make him make a decision, and he just, <laughs> he did make a decision. All right, come on, fellas, lock up. Quarterback keeps it, and all we do is push him way to come back and make that tackle, 9-7. All right, we got ourselves a third and long here. They go with the screen. Oh, man, I get pancaked. We got to make that tackle at least. Woo, Haney, eluding the chop block and making the tackle. Let's go. So BC misses their second kick here today. They might want to cut their kicker. He doesn't give them any chance to be successful. I'm gonna try, gonna try another play action pass up top. We got him again, and oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! All right, fellas, let's see what we got here. Third and twenty, make that block or just beat him. Oh yeah, good moves. Let's go, Dante Smith. That's what I'm talking about. Second and ten, missing some easy passes, bro. The blitz is real. All right, we're able to complete that pass out. Ooh, Hudson Henry with a stiff arm of the century. He's going to get in the end zone. Bang, baby, let's go. That's a big boy run right there. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Watch this. Ugh, get off me, little boy. I want a turnover, fellas. I knew he was going to keep it. Oh, my gosh. But it looks like it's coming back. It looks like it's holding on the play. Oh, wow, we were off sides. <laughs> We got to do better, fellas. We got to do better. There we go. Second and 10 here in the red zone. Man in motion. It's a run. I knew it. Ah, everybody's blocked up. Get there. Make the tackles, fellas. There we go, Colin. All right, one more stop, fellas. It's a run. No, they go with the pass. Oh, I was, I was actually on that route. But he decided to throw it out of the back of the end zone. I was hoping he threw it to the dude in the back. Could be a different ball game had their kicker hit their other kicks. You know, they could easily have 16, but, you know, it is what it is. We got an 11-point lead. Boom, easy read to Dante Smith. Get up out of there, kid. Ah, more one-on-one -on -one coverage out there on Cam Johnson. Actually, it's his own. We got one out the back of the end zone, and we just completely overshoot him. All right, we need to pick up this first here. 
Touch your feet. Make the throw. Yes, sir. Dante Smith. Come on, cuz. Second and four. Get over here. Oh, we get a sack. Let's go. Big time play up there up front. All right, first and ten. Let's go. Give me that. Yes, sir. Brendan Harris, baby. Let's go. Woo. Lurk, user lurk, man. User lurk, everything lurk. Jesus, that's me. There we go. First and ten. Look how look how quickly this dude is in the backfield. You no. suck. God damn it. All right, boys. So here we are going into the locker room up 11. It could be a bigger lead. We got to stop turning the ball over. That's one thing we've done since day one. We turned the ball over way too much. All right, here we go. Up eight here. Nope. Oh, yeah. There we go, Kelvin. Come on, get him off you. Let's go. What a run by the freshman. All right, fellas, here we go. Looking to pick up this first. Please complete this pass. That's absolutely insane, bro. He's wide open. Wide open. You just can't. You just keep overthrowing Cam Johnson, dog. That's a beautiful ball for doing a how far can you can you throw it uh, competition. Third and six. Watch out for the for the screen, the halfback screen. He's taking off. Let's go, fellas. Way to be all over it. All right, Zach Williams, who just got that sack. He's been playing well. You know what I mean? His first year starting. Get up out of there. Yes, sir, Dante. Yes, sir, Dante. Find the end zone. Find the end zone. I tried to die, but they stopped my animation because he got hit. But what a run, baby. Let's go. Eh, eh. Get off me. Good block out there, too. Go on reward, Dante, and get him in the end zone. Here we go. Get in there, baby. Let's go. Touchdown number three for that young man. So this team definitely isn't the... Average 50, 50 uh, points a game team that we had last year. But that's all good. You know what I mean? Right now we're winning. Oh, my gosh. Quarterback keeps it. Oh, you're right there. And, of course, we can't make that tackle. Come on, Harris. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Get those fours up. We got a 15-point lead heading into the fourth. Boston College has the rock. Can we make a stop and continue to play well and get this W? All right. Second and eight. Hands it off to Bailey. A lot of blocks. I even get blocked. Last line of defense, and they score easily. Too easy for David Bailey. All right, so I figured they would go for two. This will put them down seven. We need to stop. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a sell out for the run. And it's worth it, and it works out in our favor. Let's go. A lot of time left in this game. Dante Smith running well, but our offense is pretty, pretty stagnant sometimes at times. Way to make that throw, knowing that the blitz was coming. Let's go, Cam. Doing what you do. Keep going. There we go, Cam. Wheels, baby. Ah! Let's go. Down inside the red zone. Look at Cam. He started He started to stop running. I'm like, dude, if you don't keep running, bro. All right, second and nine. We're no longer rattled. You know, finally here in the fourth. Do it with your legs, bro. Do it with your legs, bro. There we go, Kelvin. 14-yard rush for the freshman. All right, we go. Make that throw. Make that catch. C.J. Bowler with his first touchdown of the season. I love it. All right, coach wants us to go for two. I got you. Yes, sir. Hudson Henry coming through. All right, there's a man up here. Second and six. Oh, Wow. He trips over his teammate, and we get credited for a sack for that. I'm not sure who that will go to. Sean Taylor Jr. is back in the game. It's been a minute, actually, since he's been in the game. Watch out for the screen. It is a screen, and I try to get there to get the pick. We don't, but we do make the tackle. Fourth and 16, and I think they got to go for it. So Boston College is indeed going for it. We both have we have the same identical amount of yards in today's ball game. 354 apiece. Watch out for the cutbacks. Oh, it doesn't matter. Big time sack by Colin Anderson, baby. Let's go. Took us a minute, but we started getting to the quarterback, man, here later in this game. He held on to the ball forever. I mean, that was a cover sack. Way to finally beat your man. Way to not give up. Oh, yeah, Dante. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, man, I should have jumped. So Dante Smith is definitely more explosive than Samson St. Brown back there. He would never have a run that well, that good, you know what I'm saying? 
Let's switch it up here. Make him think we're running out the clock. Can we can we finally get this off? He's open. And we do. Cam Johnson coming down with it. Bang. 39-yard touchdown reception, baby. Let's go. Finally, once you know Kelvin Franklin Jr. settled down, he made some better throws as his game went on. Perfect ball. You know what I'm saying? Easily caught by Cam Johnson, and that's his first TD of the year. All right, boys, so the clock hits triple zeros. We get ourselves a win here on the road. Cam Johnson goes for 99 yards and a touchdown. Solid first game against a tough opponent. You know, the score doesn't suggest it, but Dante Smith is actually going to be your player of the game. Three touchdowns on the ground. So in this game, you know, we scored consistently throughout. Um, we started off really, really slow, but we got it together. 7-14, 7-18 in the fourth. Kelvin Franklin Jr. in his debut, not the hottest of starts. 15 for 36, 278 yards, three touchdowns, two picks, 41 completion percentage, sacked five times. On the ground, Dante Smith, 16 for 83 touchdowns. Kelvin Franklin, 13 for 52. Receiving-wise, Dante Smith, 4 for 30. Bowler, 4 for 51 in the touchdown. Cam Johnson, 3 for 99 in the touchdown. St. Brown, 2 for 20. Hudson Henry, 2 for 78 in the TD. Defensively, Jason Harris, uh, the true freshman, leads us in tackles. 8 all solo. Uh, 2 for loss. Zach Williams, what a game. 7 all solo. 4 for loss. 3 sacks. Um, Dimitri Moore, 6 tackles all solo. Colin Anderson, 4 all solo. Um... Three sacks to Williams, one to Davis, one to Anderson. We also caught a pick by Brendan Harris, and we dropped a bunch more. Two by Haney, one by Wosu, and one by Jason Harris. But all in all, we played a great game. We got a W, and uh, we were able to keep these dudes off the boards for the most part. Big time win. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, ArcadeGames.com. I'm out of here. I want to give a special shout out to our Heisman sponsors, Isaac Johnson and AJO926.